This is probably one of the most beautiful views I have ever seen in my life. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia and I am a Dallas-based flight attendant. I am super excited for my trip tonight. I am the lead flight attendant, which is my favorite position to fly. That's where I am up in first class and we are heading to Quito, Ecuador. All right, Luna, mama's gotta go to work. I love you, I'll be back in a few days. We just walked on the plane and everything looks good. We're gonna get everything set up and then we will be on our way to Ecuador. It's gonna be a five hour and 17 minute flight. So we're leaving at 4.50 p.m. Dallas time, so we should get there around 11.30 p.m. Ecuador time. It is 1.08 a.m. I finally made it to Quito. I feel like there's a weird glare off of my glasses. The flight was really smooth. It was a little over five hours and I am feeling really tired. So I'm probably just going to shower and head off to bed. I am very excited though. I am meeting up with some of my crew members tomorrow and we're gonna go explore. So that should be really fun. I'm gonna start getting ready for bed and I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, Quito. I have a really nice view from my hotel room. It's 9.30 a.m. now and this hotel does offer complimentary breakfast until 10, so I really want to make sure that I get some of that. I'm also meeting up with my coworker Vanessa and her boyfriend Alex. He came with us on this trip and I'm feeling a little guilty, like I definitely should have brought Eric because the flights were wide open coming here and back and I didn't realize that, but you know what, I will definitely bring Eric on one of these layovers one day. For breakfast, this is actually mango juice and there's a little bit of red right there because I tried the blackberry juice before. But I just have some waffles with, this is like an orange jam. This is a blackberry jam, some bacon, papaya, grapes, and watermelon. This is my coworker Vanessa and her boyfriend Alex. So I will be third wheeling with them today. <laughs> we are leaving the hotel now. Breakfast was great and we are heading to the markets to go shopping. If you guys did watch my vlog from Guayaquil, then you you would know that Ecuador uses US currency, which is awesome. like I always do when I have new layovers and the lady told me that I needed to spend like a certain amount of money to use my credit card. I'm not sure if it's like that for all of the markets here, but that is something I would look out for is that a lot of times at places like this you do need cash and unfortunately I did not bring cash with me, only my credit card. Fun fact, I didn't know this, but Quito is actually known as the rose capital of the world. And look how beautiful these are. We left the market and I did run back up to my hotel room to grab some cash so that way I can head back later and purchase those magnets. But now we are heading to Ciudad Mitad del Mundo, which basically translates to the city of the center of the world where the Equator Museum is. We are taking an Uber and it is only about 13 or $14 for a 30 to 45 minute ride.
We made it to the Ciudad del Mundo and now we are trying to figure out how we actually get into the park and the museum so we can see everything. But it looks beautiful from the outside. The drive up was absolutely gorgeous. We saw a lot of mountains and you could see the city which was really cool. We are just walking over to purchase our tickets. There's not a lot of people here and I'm sorry if I sound short of breath. The altitude is very high here so it is, oh my gosh I'm tripping. <laughs> so it is pretty difficult to breathe. So right here is where we purchase our tickets and it is five US dollars. So once you enter the museum, there are actually like these little mini museums that you can go into as well. Like we just went into one that was an art exhibit. And right here in one of the exhibits, they have an entire layout of the city. And we are right here. So that tower structure that is in a lot of these videos, you are able to actually go inside and that is part of the museum. And on each floor, they have different exhibits. So this is really interesting. It's a scale that shows you exactly how much you would weigh on the sun, on the moon, at the North Pole, or here in the center of the world. It looks like you are able to go to the top of the building and you have beautiful views of the city. So if you come here, you definitely need to make sure that you go to the top of the main building because there are beautiful views of the city behind me and it just feels really peaceful and it's just really beautiful up here. So from the top, it is really cool because you can see the southern hemisphere this way and the northern hemisphere this way, which is labeled by the N and the S letters down there. It is 66 degrees out, but all of us like did not know what to pack because it said it was going to be 50 and sunny and let me tell you 60 degrees here with the sun out feels more like 80. So we're all wishing that we would have brought not jeans and long sleeve shirts. Also, if you bring your passport here, they will put the stamp on it. I'm so mad that I didn't bring my passport because I would have loved to have gotten a stamp from literally the center of the earth. Vanessa had her passport and she got this really cool stamp. Ugh, I'm jealous. Now we are going to stop for some lunch at this cute little restaurant that is in the Ciudad Del Mundo. Right now, I have no idea what I want to eat yet. That's your side. To the side huh? So this is my first time trying a fried plantain, and it's actually really good. Yeah, I like it. It's like a very sweet banana. I also got a strawberry banana smoothie, and. I love getting smoothies in other countries because the fruit is always so fresh and it always just tastes so good. Yeah, like you can tell there isn't like all the added sugar and stuff like that. It just tastes very natural and mm, it's just so good. I just got my food and it looks beautiful. We have avocado right here, salad chicken and these are uh, like fried potatoes with cheese in them some plantains and this is called mote right here which is like corn
lunch and we are actually leaving here now to go take an Uber to, I believe it is called a Tele Perico. Uh, obviously I am butchering that, but it is a cable car that you can take up a mountain or a volcano. Some people are saying it's a mountain, some are saying it's a volcano, and they have beautiful views of Quito from the top. So that is the next thing we are going to go do. Todo era bonito cuando lo hacía contigo. Ahora te pido amor como si fuera un mendigo. Y para ser bien claro que después... We made it here and I can definitely tell that the elevation is even higher here. The weather is much cooler. And now we are going to go and try and find where we purchase our tickets for the gondola ride. Hey. Buenas tardes. Hey, gracias. So one of the guys who works here told us all to sit on <laughs> yeah, he told us all to sit on this side of the gondola because I guess we will have a better view, but I'm wondering if this door, or if these doors close at all, or if they just stay open the whole time. It's a little sketchy, but it's okay. Okay, they are closing. I figured that's like a safety thing. They'd have to close them. We made it to the top and the views from the gondola ride up were absolutely stunning. You could see the hillsides and the city and going up the mountain. It was just so beautiful and the view from up top is really pretty as well. At the top of the gondola too, it looks like they have a little area in here where you can get coffee and t-shirts and souvenirs and stuff like that. And then it looks like there's a lookout over here as well. This is super cool out here. They have a ledge where you can take photos of the city behind you as the backdrop. If you come over here by the coffee shop, you can actually buy oxygen since we are at such a high altitude. If you go down these stairs by the coffee shop and out this way, there is another lookout that looks beautiful. This is probably one of the most beautiful views I have ever seen in my life. You can see the hillside over here and then you can see the clouds start to come over the mountains and it is just so beautiful. I'm out of breath, but we are climbing up this hill and I think I see an alpaca. I'm so excited. It might be a goat, but we'll see. Oh my goodness, you guys. There's like a few up here. Hello, my new friend. Hi. You are so cute. Look at this little guy. Oh, he ran away. He doesn't like me. So this is Linda and Sophia on the other side. These are llamas who are here to take pictures with us. We left our little alpaca and llama friends, and now we are hiking up another hill to get to this really cool swing set. So here is the swing set that I was talking about, which overlooks the entire city. It's so cool. We had so much fun getting to go up and down the gondola ride and the views were stunning and I also loved that we got to see an alpaca and those two llamas. It was just a really cool experience but we are all exhausted so we are going to head back to the hotel now. I'm back in my room now and I am absolutely exhausted. I had so much fun getting to go out and explore Quito today though. It is such a cool city. I think what I'm gonna do now is take a shower and try to take a nap because we are working the red eye flight back to Dallas. Our pickup is at 11 p.m. and our flight departs at 1 a.m. I ended up ordering room service and getting a margarita pizza for dinner and it looks really good, but there's no way I'm gonna finish all of this before I have to go. I also ended up getting two of the cutest little magnets. This one says, 
Mitad del Mundo, Ecuador, and that was from the equator. And then I got this little alpaca, which I just think is really cute because I actually did get to see an alpaca today. So it is 10.45 p.m. Our pickup is at 11 p.m. So I have just a few minutes before I want to head downstairs and get ready to head to the airport. I did sleep a little bit, not as much as I would have liked. I have trouble taking naps, especially right before I have to go to work. That same night, my mind just keeps racing and I have a hard time actually falling asleep. This is probably going to feel like a long night. Our flight tonight leaves at 1 a.m. and it lands at 5.55 a.m. Dallas time, but I had an amazing day. Everything here in Ecuador is super cheap. All of our Uber rides, which were 30 to 45 minutes each, were only $13. And also the lunch that I showed you guys earlier that had the full platter of food and the smoothie was only 13 US dollars. I'm gonna go downstairs and try and grab some coffee to try and wake up before I work this red eye flight home. If you've been following my channel for a while, then you would know that these are my absolute least favorite flights to work. I really struggle staying up late at night. Ella dice que está bien, que son solo amigos, o sea, nada que ver. Le tiene contraseña a nivel pro al ser. Sé que algo oculta, pero no sé qué es. Oiga, oiga, señorita, quisiera decirle solo una cosita.